All right, dude, it's all yours. Go ahead. What do we got here? Nope. Papa Stump's engine build. First fur. Go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a special surprise for you today. This is going to be a little mini series. I'm not actually doing any of the work on this, but it was too good of content not to pass up and Meyer said it was okay. So this will be the first rendition of the ultimate 12 valve tow pig. Now, most of you guys know Meyer, that handsome guy right over there. Uh, his dad just recently purchased that 1998 dually 12 valve that I showed you guys earlier in the video, that silver truck. <clears throat> and Meyer is on the quest to give his dad the best daily driver slash tow pig that he can on this planet. Mur, we'll let you we'll let you talk about it. Okay, so I guess starting with the engine, it's obviously the same 12 valve. We took it out. We put a six seven crank in there, so it's a six one stroker now. Um, just main studs, rod bolts. We put a 178 208 cam in there. Uh, power driven stage two push rods, 60 pound valve springs um with the carmelli locks and retainers um we've got oh geez we're doing we're gonna be doing compounds it's gonna be have the same 6067 he 351 that's on the shoddy but it's gonna have a 472 on the manifold so that thing should spool great especially with that stroker in there uh we did some pump work we've got power driven 4ks with uh 055s uh delivery valves right now we're running some five uh, power driven 5x14 injectors but we're gonna play around with some saucy injectors here in the future to see how much they pick up with either power or just cleanliness um working on what else we got um so you got the six one stroker we got yeah. a fluid damper on the front of this thing yep which is a nice little upgrade we have you built this pump here at our shop yeah right? sure yep. did i uh, just play with it I, <clears> I didn't go fully through it we're going to do that here in a bit we're going to throw in a fast rate cam just to kind of do down back to back testing on that and then as far as the transmission um, it had a NV4500 in it. Which you got ripped out, right? That's sitting in the bed. Yeah, so we have the 4500 in it. He has a 99 tow pig as well. Um, so obviously that's a VP. I've rebuilt that transmission five times. Um, not rebuilt, but been through it. He stripped, Would you he, say it's the world's best transmission? It's the best towing transmission known to man, for sure. He stripped <clears> the fifth gears off of it. Uh, sorry, third gear teeth off of it. He's cracked the fifth gear nut, uh, fifth gear. He's obviously lost the nut. He sent uh, fifth gear detents through the case. He's lost the pancake bearing. He's gone, gone through two different clutches in it. Um, I'm trying to think of anything I else. Think the synchros, synchros obviously. were destroyed the last time I saw the yeah. part. So uh, <clears throat> he's gone through a bunch of them. So we're going to give him a full auto uh, 47 trans on this one because um, it's, like a, it's like a manual trans, but you can actually build it to hold horsepower. And I think just be able to just bang through the gears without letting off is a really fun thing. So I'm, I'm really curious to see how it, well it tows. Like, I'm gonna go show them the transmission. Yeah. Which we currently have with the pan off. Yeah, so, and that's got... Um, and it's a 47 RH, and your whole thought process behind the RH was yeah, if it, your dad it, doesn't like full manual valve turns, body. Yeah, if it turns out he doesn't like shifting his own gears, then all I have to do is change the valve body out or make some changes to the valve body. And then he's got a, a full auto, but like, why would you ever wanna do that? That's Dude, that is some sauce going on with that second gear. Yeah. <coughs> but um, so it's, it's got a PDD input. It's going to have one of our PDD torque converters. I really like how that torque converter runs. Yeah. PDD lever. It's got lever strut anchors. actually got the servo pole, second gear servo assembly, yeah. low reverse servo. Um, it's a 650, so it's got all the clutches in it with all GPC. Like It's, it's basically a 650 trans from us with a full manual valve body. But the nice part is with the, a lot of you guys uh, have 47 REs. And if you look here, now this is a fat output shaft. But anyway, if you look here, this would be about where your factory trans or your factory case would, would end about there. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the RH shaft, even four wheel drive is about four inches longer. So because of that, the shaft's able to take a lot more uh, rotating stress. So what we usually will do with these RHs is leave the factory output shafts in because they're a lot stronger due to their length. Yeah, so it's I guess the output is a little bit stronger. So I guess it would be like a 650. I'm sorry, an 850. Yeah. But I'd say like 750, 850, yeah. Yeah, something like that. But that is why, and not only that, the 
four wheel drive 47 rh output shafts that are billet are like 12 1300 yeah. bucks yeah they're so lot. they're pretty pricey and then like Meyer said one of our converters low stall high stall medium stall. Uh, it's gonna be a low stall i think this six month stroker will chart uh will spool great so i don't think it'll need any issue uh, need any help there so let's go ahead and get this thing fired up we're gonna do first fire for you guys and we're gonna go ahead and get that hot retort done all right dude it's all yours go ahead what do we got here nope papa stumps engine build first fur go <laughs> Right, guys so you just saw that first fire up this thing is nasty the pressure pulses coming out of that manifold are saucy Spicy. now this is a firing head gasket so myself and meyer went through and we got the hot retorque done uh they moved really early so we got a really nice crush on those firings i feel like um and now we're gonna go ahead put it all back together uh we'll probably pick pick up on this later in the week when meyer goes to install the transmission but it was kind of one of those things. I know a lot of you guys like 12 valves for some reason. And I figured why not capitalize on Meyer's hard work. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this video up for you guys. That way you have a little bit of 12 valve content, especially with this being a tow rig. I know a lot of you guys want to either race or sled pull, but there's a lot of guys that just want a 500 to 600 horsepower truck that they can tow with daily drive. And that's exactly what Meyer has built here. What is the compression ratio on this bad Larry here? So it's like 19 to one ish. And <clears> so yeah. it, it's pretty spicy and it starts really good. Yeah. I'm really, I'm really happy. You guys heard it. it on that first fire. Like this thing, this thing fired right up. Now, to be fair, they did have the fuel system primed and actually real quick, we have one of our power driven diesel hot rod right. there you go. lift pumps with one of our line kits. You guys can see it here. It is a lot nicer than the metal lines that like to crack with the banjo bolts. So the problem with the factory metal lines is that when you run over about 45 PSI pressure, I think it's just the pressure pulses from the factory lift pump that causes them to crack, the ends crack off. So if you're running over 45 PSI with a factory lift pump, new lines would be a good idea. I've seen a lot of them crack. So yeah, and then as far as horsepower goals, um, I don't really have a goal because he literally said, hey, I want this thing to make like four or 500 horse. And I was like, dad, that's not enough. So I think right now, we're, I think I'd be happy. I'm expecting like seven, and I'd be really happy if it got <clears throat> moved up towards the closer to eight. But So this truck, for those of you guys that don't understand 12 valves or new to 12 valves, the 98 manual, because this was a factory manual truck, this is going to come with the 215 of all the stock pumps. One would argue it's kind of more of the holier grail. 215. The cool part about the 215 really is it advances the timing <clears throat> at full rack travel, about five degrees which does help quite a bit because you like can run six and a half six and a half okay in this one when the way we set it up oh nice so you can run a little bit lower static timing and still pick up some big timing when you put her foot to the floor yeah so and if we were on max power we'd you know be putting big injectors big delivery valves um we'd be doing um like geez i was thinking of something else um We'd be pushing everything to, oh, bigger timing. Like right now we're at 18 degrees and that's where I plan on keeping it. Any higher than that, you start getting clacky and stuff. And if you're a good tow pick, you just want something that runs smooth, quiet, and has great, you know, spooling characteristics and EGT control. So 18. So like I said before, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this content. I will post an update video once we get this thing ready to get on the dyno. Maybe some driving. I'm thinking maybe two more additional videos on this to kind of complete the ultimate 12 valve tow pig video saga give this one a big thumbs up go ahead and comment and make sure you subscribe to the channel we got a lot more coming catch you guys on the next one